Hi, and welcome. I'm Morgane. I'd like to welcome you all to the Coraco Live uh, Books, Bards, and Ballads, and uh, which is brought to you by the Coraco Committee of the Sisterhood of Avalon. Um, tonight, I have the pleasure, distinct pleasure, of speaking with Jenna Green, Emmy-nominated musician, singer, songwriter, harpist, artist, my dear friend, and I'm very excited to say we're going to open this evening with a song. So Jenna, if you would share with us what you're going to play. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, Morgan and I are both uh, big fans of mermaid mythology. So for her tonight, I'm going to do one of my newer songs called The Mermaid Song, and I'm hoping to release this as a single pretty soon. That's beautiful. Thank you. That is that is my favorite. <laughs> so, Jenna, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm Thank really you all. hello to all the sisters of Babylon. So, um, just to let everybody know, it's not the only song of the night. We plan on a couple more. Right. Um, but we are going to talk about. Let's see. Would you like to talk about your upcoming CD? Yes, um, I don't have a release date yet, but I have started um, uh, working out arrangements and deciding what's going to be on the album. This is the first time ever that I will have my full band that I travel with, that I perform with on the album. Um, and we've all arranged the songs together. So that's a real treat because usually I'll go into the 
the studio, I'll lay down some tracks and then I'll start to worry about figuring out what the arrangement is after. So this is the first time ever where everything is prepared ahead of time. We're all ready to go. The instrumentation is all there. The guys are all excited to be a part of it. And I'm so excited to have them. Um, my bandmates are Archaea Three Fires, um, who uh, anyone in the pagan realm will know from Sharon Knight's band. Um, she's a wonderful sister singer. And um, Derek O'Sullivan, um, who is a drummer, both kit drum and um, tribal drums like djembe. Um, he is a, a, a well-known drummer in the New England area. And then Ed Newton is my guitarist, um, acoustic guitar. Um, and all of my guys also play, vo um, they all sing. Uh, and uh, Ed is um, both a, um, he's a, He's a pianist as well. He doesn't play piano with my band, um, but he's a, a guitarist, he's a singer, and he's a recording artist. Um, he's guest spotted on uh, albums all throughout uh, singer-songwriters in the New England area. Um, and uh, KF Three Fires, I didn't mention his instruments. Uh, he plays keyboard for me as well as native flute, Irish flute, mandolin, and bass. So I got some uh, very multi-talented band brothers with me, and I'm very, very blessed. That's great. So does does the new CD have like a a theme or? <laughs> um, we're we're lovingly calling it a uh, fairy goth metal. <laughs> it's not going to have a, a true metal sound, um, but it's really. Uh, interesting because my music for anybody who's followed my career my music is very new age celtic mm -hmm. lilting soft ethereal and then you bring in my three guys who have um a punk history and a rock history and a gothic history to them and the the flavors all get mixed together and it really becomes like this world folk fusion with a few with some edginess as well um so i i hope we eventually get to fairy goth metal status because i love that tagline um so we're gonna try to make it um just a little more edgy, a little darker, a little more uh, hardcore. Um, I have this one song um, because of course, anybody who knows me, um, uh, I've always been into the, the bright, sparkly, fairy positivity mantra type music. And even if I start out with a sad story, it's gonna be uh, happy at the end. And, uh, and so, for this album, I really wanted to, I've, I've over the past few years just absolutely fallen in love with shadow work. So I really wanted to bring those darker influences in. And, and when I say dark, I don't mean dark like evil, I mean dark like facing your fears and digging into your history and seeing why you do the things you do and your, your habits and your cycles and, um, and really digging into all that dark stuff. If you learn to understand yourself, there's that, that old philosophical saying, know thyself. And if you really learn to know yourself, you can break your patterns, break your habits and just come into um, really a life of far more freedom. Um, so I wanted to bring that shadow work flavor and that dark goddess energy into this album. And it's so funny because the one song that I wanted to kick off the album, the guys were like, you're not, you're not kicking it off because it, it really was, um, it's, it's the hardest and edgiest song called The Crone. Um, and it's very dark and it stays dark. And, um, but the whole point of the song is uh, when you face it, you erase it. So it's that idea of really facing your dark side, your shadow, um, your dragons and your demons within and um, sitting with those emotions, which is just so hard that, that you gotta, you know, there's all those new age happy sayings, like you gotta feel it to heal it, you gotta face it to erase it. But, um, but it really is, even though those are cutesy sayings, there's really truth to them. Um, so, so yeah, my darkest edgiest song because I'm not, uh, dark and edgy is going out of my comfort level. And um, and this song, this whole album is really about pushing outside of my comfort level because that's where that's where the magic happens. That's where art is created. Is really pushing outside of your comfort level. So the name of the album is Deeper Waters, um, and it's uh, it's actually inspired by a talk that was given by David Bowie um, mm -hmm. about going outside of your comfort zone, and he called it 
the deeper waters. You want to go out into your deeper waters. Um, and I just absolutely loved that talk and that whole concept. And it's so much uh, in line with shadow work. And um, so that's where the, the title came from. And the crone song is staying because the guys are right. And I'm just going to push through my, <laughs> my <laughs> lack of comfort. And the crone song is going to be probably the darkest song I've ever done, but beautiful too. Well, we do have a question from Audrey, and that's kind of what she's asking. How challenging is it for you to share your shadow with your bandmates to create the music? Um, it's not hard. I'm about to give them the biggest compliment. It is not hard to share my shadow with my bandmates because they are so unconditionally accepting of all the sides of me. Also, anyone close to me, it's really funny when I show them my dark side and I start to talk about my, my bad habits and my dragons and my demons, the people in my life who are super close to me, they get excited when I talk about it because they're so used to me being sparkly and positive. And I'm very genuine about my positivity. And some people over the years have kind of accused me of, of not being genuine. Um, I do admit that in the beginning of my career, I would say I was very um, unbalanced in that way of like, trying to throw fairy dust at it you know let's let's just throw fairy dust let's just throw some positive affirmations at it and it'll go away so definitely I honor that um you know 18 years ago I was very imbalanced with my positivity but I would say definitely over the last 15 years there's been more and more and more balance and I'm almost tipping to the dark side I'm tipping to the dark side now uh, <laughs> well i'm going to mention these later i want to put them in the chat but yeah that's a great question about the shadow you. goddess stuff yeah why don't we talk about your shadow goddess musical meditation workshop that yes. you're going to be doing in new hampshire and i'll put the information because that seems to, to just kind of go around with what you're talking about absolutely um so uh Back at the beginning of 2020, um, I was going through some some really, really dark times, some really hard times, um, as were many people in this world. And I won't even, I won't get into why, because um, you all know. Uh, but um, I had a lot, a lot of loss, a lot of tragedy all at once. And um, I started just pulling out any any uh, dark song that I had ever written, um, getting in touch with any dark goddess that I had ever connected with. Um, and more and more, I just craved it. And I just needed that. Um, my favorites are um, the Morrigan, who um, I was introduced to at the Morrigan's Call Retreat. Um, and she has become one of my favorite dark goddesses, um, Hela. Um, who is the, the Norse goddess of the underworld, is very important to me. Kali, who I met at a, um, a goddess ritual um, that Sherry Asdot did, um, who's no, a wonderful healer um, on the South Shore of Massachusetts. She does um, a, a goddess presentation every month. And um, I was just like, I, I feel drawn to go this month and I don't know who the goddess is and I don't care. And I was introduced to Kali that night and I just needed that medicine that she brings of just cutting off the ego and um, cutting the cords that don't serve you and cutting away the energy that doesn't serve you. That's really a lot of what the Kali mythology is about. Um, so working with Kali and, um, and then the fourth one uh, is um, Hecate. Um, and Hecate came to me through um, one of my favorite priestesses and, um, and teachers, Matuka Moonbear. Um, Hecate is her mother goddess, her matron, patron goddess, and asked me to write a Hecate song one time. Ever since then, Hecate has been a part of my life. Her mythology has been a part of my life. Um, funny enough, even though I didn't know a lot about her for many years, even though I consider myself a witch and she's the queen of the witches, I never connected with her, I think, because she's a part of the Greek pantheon and I was so Celtic, Celtic, Celtic for a long time. Um, I'm not that way anymore. I've, I'm kind of just taking influences where, wherever the universe, whatever the universe throws at me right now, I'm just taking it into my heart space and just like eating it up. Um, 
But Hecate came to me through writing a song for my dear friend Matuka Moonbear. Um, and then getting into the research of her, I realized she's she's a goddess of keys. I've always been attracted to keys. She's a goddess of the crossroads. My first album is called Crossroads. The symbolism is of crossroads is very important to me, um, very influenced by uh, Joseph Campbell and Robert Frost um, and some quotes from them. And um, owls, owls have always been my uh, spirit animal and owl is hers as well. So, um, so those four shadow goddesses really just came up for me over and over and over again as I was trying to heal and grieve and work my way through all the loss and hardship. And, um, and there's that saying, take a broken heart and turn it into art. And I just poured all of my negative emotion, all of my everything, all of the yuck, all of the the mud that I felt like was in me, I just poured it into um, into my music. And from that, I ended up creating this, um, <clears throat> this uh, musical meditation. So it's this whole guided meditation through the different realms of these shadow goddesses mm -hmm. to, um, to get in touch with them and find out um, what they, what they mean to you, what they're trying to say to you, what their symbolism is and how you can use that in your life. Um, and it, 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 it came to a point in every musician's life over the last couple of years where we saw all of our festivals, all of our gigs, all of our weddings, everything get canceled. And my community, our community really rallied to support me and say, you know, what can we do? And me, like everyone else in the world, had to embrace technology, learn Zoom. And then I ended up um, teaching this shadow goddess musical meditation online. And that was one of the ways that I, that I made it through that I, uh, that I um, made some money over the hard times. And uh, I'm really grateful that that meditation was given to me. And then I'm very grateful to the community that they, they took it in and they loved it and supported me through it. So and I'm still rocking. I'm still doing it. I'm still getting out there. I'm going to be uh, teaching it in, is it Sandwich, New Hampshire? Sacred Neck. Sacred yeah, I, I did put it in the chat. Yeah. Shadow Goddess Musical Meditation yes. at Sacred Nectar Farm in Sandwich, New Hampshire. Yes. When, oh, I wrote June and I didn't say it's June 9th. June 9th. Yep. Which June is actually, 9th. it's a Thursday night. But there's a festival there's a spring fest, no, a summer festival um, going on, uh, and it's going to be June 9th, 10th, 11th. Um, so if you are if you are into organic farming, if you are into permaculture, if you are into getting back to the earth and green living, um, this farm is just doing amazing, amazing things, not only for the community in New Hampshire, but really for the whole world. They're teaching people how to um, how to do permaculture, how to honor the earth, how to uh, grow medicine, um, plant medicine. And, um, it's just an amazing, amazing group of people. Very, very inspiring, um, very walk their talk, um, type, type of people, um, just amazing the things they've done. And, uh, they actually built, uh, for the first time that I went down, knowing that I do fairy music, they actually built me this little grotto in the woods. So I have my own little fairy forest um, every time I go there and it's just so magical. So definitely. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, if you're, if you're in that area ever, cause they do two festivals a year, they'll do a harvest festival as well. And um, amazing group of people. Wonderful. Um, all right. So talking about that, that, that musical meditation, I have to go back to my favorite because. Oh yes. So the, <laughs> And I, 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 I did take it with you. So I know that there are a lot of us that kind of have this mermaid thing going on. Yes. Um, I, I'm so, because of the, the album project that I'm doing, um, I'm so focused on the shadow goddesses and the shadow workshop and the deep, dark stuff that I sometimes forget that at the same time that I wrote that shadow goddess musical meditation, I also wrote one for mermaids and water goddesses. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very much about cleansing and opening to abundance and self-compassion and just all of those beautiful things that water represents. Um, and yeah, I really need to get back to doing that workshop as well, because that was also very, very uh, popular 
um, maybe I could do one online. And if anybody wants to host, I am totally open to that as well. Um, and I should mention, um, even though I don't have any dates yet, I will be doing um, pretty much everything that I'm mentioning tonight. Um, I will eventually be doing at a new uh, holistic healing space called Wicked Peaceful, because um, we love the word wicked in Massachusetts. It's one of our <laughs> favorite words. And so Wicked Peaceful in Plainville, Massachusetts is a new place where I will be teaching singing. Um, I'm going to be doing self-care workshops. I'm going to be doing vocal empowerment workshops. My shadow goddess meditation will happen there. My mermaid meditation will happen there. Um, I want to do regular concerts there as well. Um, mm -hmm. Teach people how to do mantras and, uh, and help people to create their own mantra, which I call a song spell. Um, so my song spells will happen there as well. So there's going to be lots, lots and lots of stuff happening in Plainville, Massachusetts, but I am um, I am a traveler and I am willing to go anywhere. So anybody who wants to host me for any of these things, get a group, get a group of friends together. Um, I am, I'm there. So just get in touch with me. Well, I'm definitely going to check out Wicked Peaceful because Plainville is like 15 minutes from my house. Yes. So I'm definitely going to go down there. Right. Uh, thank you, Shara, for putting in the link to the Sacred Nectar Sanctuary. Thank you. Um, okay, so then on June 11th, I'm typing as I'm talking, and <laughs> I'm, I'm so everybody, please, <laughs> please forgive the uh, the typos. So June 11th yeah. is the Hopedale Fairy Walk. Wow. This sounds awesome. It 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 is even more magical than it sounds. It is just. Um, you walk into the woods in Hopedale, Massachusetts, and you're just going to see, you're going to see fairy houses everywhere. You're going to see magical creatures everywhere. You're going to see me singing and selling my art and serenading you all day. Um, fantabulous mythic artists and um, readers and psychics and uh, food vendors and just, oh. it's, it's, just an amazing, amazing event. It gets bigger and better every year. Um, you can just feel the love that is put into this event. Um, I think this is my fourth year doing it. Um, I just love it. I just, and, and the woods there are so beautiful. It's right on the water as well. So all of a sudden you'll be deep in the woods and then you'll see this beautiful lake full of dragonflies. And it's just, it's just wonderful. It sounds lovely. I, um, I wish I could go, but I'm going to be in Barbenstown. Uh, <laughs> and I, so, I believe, I believe too, it, it is a free event. I believe it's a free event. Um, and it's event. It's an event that you could bring, you could bring a two-year-old to, you could bring, you know, go with all your adult friends and, and have a fun time. It's just like one of those fun for all the ages type things. I have a blast every year. That sounds great. So great. Mm -hmm. Um, so tell me what it was like to be nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> um, it still seems like a dream. Um, and I, ha I have to say um, that I really feel like, um, I feel like that was the universe really rewarding me for pushing hard out of my comfort zone. Um, and I have to, I have to give a big thank you to Robert McClung, who was my partner on that project, um, mm -hmm. who really was like, pu he pushed me so hard in a really beautiful way. I came to him with a bunch of melodies in my head, a bunch of harmonies. And I'm like, okay, we're doing this movie project. And the movie project is about um, shadow work, light work, and the balance between. And we have to write three songs that go with those. And these are the melodies that I have. And so, of course, the light work one was very easy for me. It was very beautiful. It was very airy fairy. It was very, very me. Shadow goddess one, the shadow work one, was super hard because I got into Robert's studio and um, and we're you know we're working on the composition and he starts he starts putting in like creaky haunted house uh, type sounds in the background like very dissonant stuff and I'm like this is so cool and then he's like okay I want you to sing over it and I'm like la 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 he's like you can't sing pretty 
<laughs> and he just kept pushing me and pushing me like, don't sing pretty, don't sing pretty. You're going to sing, you know, I want you singing off key and I want you singing like really dissonant notes and do this over here. And, um, and it really just, it came out so, so edgy and so dark. And then, um, for the one where we did the light and shadow together, um, it became like a waltz. So it was like a dance between the two. And, um, and it would kind of go back and forth from the dissonant, uncomfortable to the light and airy and doing a dance between the two. And um, I'm really, really proud of that project and how that project came out. And it was just, it, it, was, it, was, my, it was my first time ever being in the studio, really, really pushing myself to do things that were uncomfortable, but necessary. Um, and I think that that really inspired this whole new album that I'm doing because the whole thing is gonna be out of my comfort zone. It's gonna be out of my range. It's gonna be, um, I'm gonna be singing higher than I've ever sung and singing lower than I've ever sung and singing darker than I've ever sung and singing things that are really hard for me to think about. And um, I'm really, uh, I'm really happy for those those moments um, with Robert creating that uh, that those pieces were really the springboard for that, and also just the shadow goddess, the shadow work that I was already doing, and the um, just all the hardships that I went through. Um, they ended up blessing, really blessing my art, and really uh, kicking my butt into uh, um, pouring pouring my pain into music and using that as a as a healing tool so hopefully it heals me and then helps to heal others as well because that's my that is my um intention in life. that is my mission i can't wait <laughs> my grandma started to get me interested in what she just found this new band it's actually called hobbit metal which is really weird <laughs> Um, and then the the my fairy rock metal. We can so it together. Like, yeah, it's kind of Celtic-y, but it's metal-y. And yep. yeah, so so uh, she's trying to turn me on to this stuff. So I'm uh, I'm going to be very much looking forward to your new CD. Thank you. Um, I did add into the chat the fact that, um, so we've got the um, Shadow Goddess medication in June in New Hampshire mm -hmm. and the Fairy Walk in June in Hopedale. Mm -hmm. So I've added Peace in the Peace in the Park. Yeah. In uh, West Warwick on July 9th. Yeah, that's West an all day thing. And I will be if you're an early bird, I'm gonna be playing heart for the yoga first thing in the morning, which is 9 a.m. And then I'm gonna be doing a singer songwriter set mm -hmm. at 11 a.m. Um, it's an all day event. It's a humongous cookout, lots of good vibes, lots of good things going on all day. It's free. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful event. And then in August on the 5th, you'll have a full band concert. Full band concert. At, uh, we Breathe Wellness in, um, in Walpole, Mass. Yes. Yeah. So that'll be every, that'll not just you with your heart, but the, the full band. Right. And they have a huge, huge um, meeting hall. The whole space, the whole space of We Breathe is just absolutely beautiful. Um, they have a spa. They have a gift shop. They have a wonderful um, networking group that you can join and um, really great acoustics, too, for my band. So this will be the first time um, that my band is reuniting to sing live in quite a while. Um, so I'm very excited about that. That's great. I know it's going to be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, would you like to play another song? Sure. Um, it's, it's very humid here in Massachusetts. Um, so I'm going to hope that my heart stayed in tune, but you know, maybe the song needs to be dissonant tonight. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to sing, um, there are kind of two paths that I go with music. One of them is affirmations, mantras, um, kind of empowerment songs. And mm -hmm. then the other is um, mythology, mysticism, uh, goddess traditions. Um, so the first song that I did for you, Mermaids, it's more along the lines of the water goddesses and the great mother. Um, so this one is more along the lines of an affirmation or a mantra, and it's called Limitless. And this will definitely be on the, um, the upcoming album. I just gotta 
try to get in tune. And uh, I'm probably gonna make this sound a little light and fluffy tonight. And you're, you know, I just told you that this is a deep dark album. Um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna make it sound a little light and fluffy tonight. Um, but uh, with the bass and um, the drums and everything, it's gonna be, it's definitely gonna have some edge to it. So this is Limitless. I did, uh, in case anyone has the urge, I put up uh, both of Jenna's um, Venmo and PayPal in case you'd like to add something to the tip jar. So her Venmo is at Jenna Green GLM and PayPal is at Green Lady Music. Mm -hmm. I should also um, mention um, to, to anybody who's interested in financially supporting, I also have a Patreon and Patreon is like, a, um, it's like a club where you become a patron and you give as little as $5 a month. There's different tiers where you get different rewards. Um, but for as little as $5 a month, you get exclusive content stuff that I don't release to the public. Um, mm -hmm. Part that I sometimes don't release to the public or at, at the very least you get it far before I do release to the public. So, um, news announcements, you hear them first. Um, I'm also doing uh, services, various holistic healing services and music services free for my patrons. Um, so I do this thing called uh, a song spell session where I'll sit down with you one on one through Zoom or in person and you tell me about a stress in your life and then we start to uh, find some empowerment words to shift that energy in the opposite direction. And then I create um, a whole empowerment mantra for you around that and I call it a song spell. So you can have your very own customized song spell um, just for joining my Patreon uh, for $5 a month. Is that under Green Lady Music? It is um, www.patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Jenna Green with an E at the end. Patreon.com, no. <laughs> <laughs> So they get www.batchion. 
Patreon, P A T R E O N R O N dot com. Yep. Slash Jenna Green with an E at the end. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of what that was. What's so that? why don't we um, switch over and you're an amazing artist. Oh, thank you. Which I don't think a lot of people, a lot of people know. That's true. I, I hide it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't know it until um, when you were venting and playing up at the Nestival. Right. Right. Um, I, I had, I, I had my uh, art up on Etsy for like a heartbeat <laughs> of time and um and it was going successful but I just felt like I was moving in so many different directions and just babysitting an Etsy while you know mm -hmm. having a website and being out performing and stuff like that it just seems like too much so I pulled it off and it was always my intention to go put my art on my website but I haven't yet so if you see me vend you see me with all this beautiful artwork and you're like oh who did that art oh it's me that's my secret <laughs> that's my uh my little fairy secret I guess um, but I do want to get it more out into the world and I do share quite a bit of art, um, as well as music and videos with my patrons. Um, so this is, um, this is something brand new where I'm doing, um, all of my, all of my artwork as little greeting cards. I'm trying to get the angle right. <laughs> so I have, um, an assortment. <laughs> I gotta, just, is, is I gotta that, remember left is right and right. Is that a cover to one of your CDs? What's that? Yes. Is that a cover to one of your CDs? Yes. This this one is actually on my live album cover. And then I'm starting a series of green men. I have an oak green man right now, and this is my maple green man. Mm -hmm. So my Oak Green Man was created for um, my dear friend, Mike Dolan, who I've sung with for many years. And he's very much a, a green man. He embodies the green man. And then the second one um, was a commission piece for my dear friend, George Maple, who, of course, uh, he's into green men and he loves the Maple Green Man because Maple is his last name. Um, so so that second one that I showed you was um, commission work. I do, uh, I do some artist commission work as well. Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is the only one of two um, originals that I've kept for myself. Um, when I do originals, when I do artwork, um, this is Abundia. Um, mm -hmm. I do have prints available of her. Um, but this is one of the, the only original paintings that I have kept that I did specifically for myself. Um, but I do all of my um, artwork with specific intentions in ritual. Mm -hmm. um, I use uh, sacred waters in my um, in my watercolors and in my inks. Um, this is Mother of the Ocean, and um, my mom. That's beautiful. Thank you. My mom is a beach person, um, so I gifted her the original of this because it's just got such a a mama energy. And um, this is a uh, Love is the Tune. Um, and this is very much a gay pride piece. Um, some of my best friends in the whole world are LGBT. Um, and this was created on the night of the, uh, the Florida shooting um, gay club. And I just, my, my heart was so heavy for, for all of my gay friends and I wanted to do something really special for them. Um, so uh, Love is the Tune is, is inspired by that. And, um, it's uh, the energy of that is, is really healing for the gay community. Um, this is called Gifts of Air, and I am an air child. I am a um, Gemini sun, Gemini, uh, what am I? Gemini sun and Gemini mercury and Aquarius moon. <laughs> so I've got a lot of air influence um, and I love my owls. So there's always owls hidden within each one. Um, so that's Gifts of Air. Here's uh, more of a close-up of my Oak Green Man. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you. And um, I do this in such a meditative state that things just show up. Um, I never intended for there to be a Luna Moth, and I love the, the Luna Moth and his beard, and I never intended for there to be, um, 
unicorns and unicorns and pegasuses showed up and I don't know why, but a mermaid decided to, to float through his leaves. Um, so there's some water influence there as well. And this one is called Moon Maiden. Um, and I'm very, very uh, connected to moon rituals. I never miss a moon ritual. Um, and I'm very connected to the moon goddess, Selene. Um, mm -hmm. so this is kind of a loosely a, a Selene yeah. image. And this is a close up of my maple green man. And I love how I love mushrooms. So um, my, mushrooms are super important to me um, for magical purposes. And um, I had I had an autoimmune issue at one point and the uh, reishi mushroom really saved me. I work very closely with lion's mane now. So mushrooms are very mushrooms are healers and teachers to me. So I love that he has a mushroom nose. That's just so special to me. I love the mushroom nose, yeah. <laughs> and a little cardinal showed up, and um, cardinal is uh, definitely my mom's uh, my mom's spirit animal. Um, yeah, she's she actually she saw some just recently in her yard. And this was one of my uh, my very first pieces. And the way this print is, it's um, it's a little cut off, but I still love it. Um, it's uh, it's really my first piece where I started to connect with my style, with um, with the ink and the watercolor and kind of mixing everything together. And there's things hidden everywhere. Um, so I really love how this came out. It's called Nature's Music. And then this is just the the mother one again. So those are some of my major works. Um, I do have I do have more than that, but those are probably the most popular of all of them, and those are all um, included in the the gift cards. Are those available on your website? Not yet, but if you email me, <laughs> if you email me, I can get them to you. They will be there eventually. And your email is my email is uh, green with an e, just like my website green lady music at gmail.com so oh, anyone can email you and see yeah. prints so the are, are any of the prints for sale or is it just the cards all, right all of the prints all of the cards are for sale everything okay. everything that i showed tonight i have a print of that i can i can sell okay wonderful yeah <laughs> and then, uh, ship out with no problem because I have uh, the fancy protective envelopes and environmentally friendly packaging and <laughs> all those things. Oh, we could just meet for lunch. <laughs> oh, we could, or we could meet and I can give you lots of prints and cards. So is there, okay, so we've covered every all your gigs coming up and yep. your music. Yep. And so we've got your art. Um. Is there anything specific that we um, have to talk about? That you looking, looking to the autumn, um, I have been invited to um, to be a part of Changing Times, Changing Worlds, um, which I've been a part of in the past. Um, and what is that? It's a uh, it's it's um it's an online conference at the moment um, because a lot of uh, a lot of people. Um, involved in it are older so they've decided to hold it online again um, but it has taken place uh, in I want to say um, kind of western mass eastern N New York was where it was located originally um, but they're doing it online this year um, a conference I think it's going to be over a few days and I'll be performing hopefully performing and doing a workshop there that's still that's still in the planning stages but I wanted to mention that because there it's a great group of people um, what's that changing Change, changing times, changing worlds. And uh, that's, that's in the autumn. And then another one that I wanted to mention, um, because it's my, it's my home pride, is um, Southeastern Massachusetts Pagan Pride. I'll be performing there. Which is the second Saturday of September, right? Or Sunday? Uh, is it a Sunday? I think it's Sunday. Okay. I should know after doing it for like 15 years. <laughs> I know. I usually go every, I just got to put the, the it's September, September in Hill, Massachusetts. Right. Nine. 
to go over the show. Yeah, and then as as things start to progress with um, finishing up the album, um, attention will turn to um, to band gigs. So um, so band gigs will become much much more prominent, um, especially as people get back to to feeling safe and healthy and um, the fairs and festivals open up more. Um, yeah, I, I have some, I have some big plans. They're still secret plans, but I have some big plans as far as my, my band and the releasing of the album and stuff like that. We, we still don't have a date. Um, cause I hate to put a date, a finished date on it and then have the date go by. Um, and my, uh, for my wild earth child project that happened a couple of times and I disappointed it. I felt like it, I don't think I disappointed people. I felt like I disappointed people. I don't think my supporters really, you know, they all understand that like, you know, art doesn't happen overnight. And, um, so. You probably just disappointed yourself. Yeah. Cause you, yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm yeah. so excited. <laughs> so, okay. So the secrets, so we get little teasers. There are well, secrets. Is, every, is everything on your website? No. <laughs> if anyone would like to help with my website, I welcome that. Uh, I know just the person to help with your website. <laughs> I will text you her name. <laughs> <laughs> She's the person who does my website. Okay. So, um, so yeah, yeah, I can definitely do that. But part um, of my plan, um, for anybody who's interested, um, part of my plan with the website is to um, have a calendar up where people can book my services. So you can book my services through Zoom. You can book my services at um, my workshops, anything that I teach at Wicked Peaceful, you know, anything, anything that comes up, you'll be able to pay for it right online. You'll be able to book yourself. If, if it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, you know, we'll either do it on Zoom or I'll meet you in person. Um, mm -hmm. my, uh, my, my workshops are going to expand as well. Uh, coming into the next few months, um, I'm going to be doing a lot, um, a lot more with vocal empowerment and a lot more with the vocal chakra. So voice both on the physical level and the spiritual, emotional level. Um, and I want to do a lot more. Um, I have an idea to do something called self-care sorcery, which is um, a circle that I want to do that is um, a different type of self-care. Uh, every month. Um, but I want that self care to be on a body, mind and spirit level. So I want it to be also um, not just not just physical self care, but also um, protecting yourself psychically and um, really getting into uh, emotional healing and psychological healing, um, so that the body can heal better. Um, kind of, it's going to be some shadow work too, and some really heavy subjects. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to that as well. Um, a lot more uh, musical meditations, um, a lot more song spells, um, things like that. I'll bring bring back my, uh, my mermaid workshop, uh, make sure I do that again. Um, so yeah, I got I got some I got some plans for some new stuff, um, bringing back some of the old stuff um and rocking along in the recording studio so so that the self-care that you were just talking about yeah would that be a class or one-on-one -on -one, a zoom in person good class. people that will be that will be um a group thing um i okay. could do it one-on-one -on -one as well um sometimes there's a there's a group workshop and somebody will come up to me and they're like i'm not comfortable in a group sharing in a group can we do it one-on-one -on -one? and I'm, I'm glad to i'm always glad to do that um, and, uh, so the, um, the self-care sorcery will be, um, I'll probably do some versions online, um, groups online through zoom. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also planning, um, I'm talking with Jill at Wicked, Wicked Peaceful about, um, teaching it there. Um, and, uh, yeah, who knows where else it will, it will show up end up. Um, cause it can be a one-time thing as well. If somebody wanted to host that with a bunch of their friends and do like a self-care day, we can absolutely do that as well. So it's probably going to make like it would be a great idea for a red tent. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. That all goes mm -hmm. under this. <laughs> it's all under the same, I was going to say umbrella, but it's all under the same tent. That hosts let's, let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You got it. So if um, anybody out there has any questions that they would like to ask, Anna, 
I'm going to, um, <laughs> Audrey's saying online, yes, please. Um, I'm going to put, even though Jennifer's website isn't up, Jennifer, Jenna's website isn't up, I'm going to put it back in. Now, as to buying your music, mm -hmm. should we, Amazon? Yes. Um, my first two albums are everywhere. They're on every platform. Um, so Amazon, iTunes, anywhere you can find music, um, those two albums are there. Um, I do intend to get the rest of my material up fairly soon. Um, I also have um, a, a website called Bandcamp. Um, Bandcamp is a platform where independent artists put their music up and mm -hmm. um, we get more of a commission on Bandcamp. Um, iTunes doesn't give a lot, um, but they stream a lot, which adds up. So it's kind of, things are kind of weird for musicians right now, but um, streaming has become more popular and those, those pennies do add up. So stream my music in the background all day <laughs> and, and that adds up. I can do that. I listen to a lot when I'm driving. Oh, thank you. It's very, it's very soothing. Thank you. You know, especially now I find that people when they're driving and uh, there's uh, nobody's paying attention. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have some nice soothing music. <laughs> right. Just keep you calm, help you breathe while you drive. Oh, I'm glad I can uh, keep you chill while you're <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you keep me chill <laughs> in a lot of ways. <laughs> Um, so if no one has any questions, I would love to hear another song before we end. Okay. Um, I, uh, I'm not really a drummer. I leave that to my, uh, amazing drummer, Derek O'Sullivan. Um, but he is not here tonight. So I'm going to do a drum song for you. Okay. okay. Um, this will also be on the new album, um, and it it has it has a lot of surprises in it on the album. Um, they'll do a simplified acoustic chanty version for you right now. In the twilight. In the in-between shadow and light Feeling the unseen clapped in woodland Whispering the spell to the ancients Who know you so well, grandmother's rooted In the wind and looks to face the shadows Brush yourself your birth, which was starlight Let your heart expand, feel connection Now you understand this is all All you're searching for and you are all all you're waiting for in their guides By whom you are adored by your side Now I'm forevermore open hearted Let your mind expand, fill your feet through Deep in sacred lands, let your dreams dance Wild and safe and free, that's the being You are meant yeah. to be, this is all All you're searching for and you are all All you waited for in their guides By whom you are adored by your side now I'm forevermore in the twilight, in the in-between shadow and light, feeling the unseen like the candle, whispering the spell to the ancients, who know you so well, grandfather's rooted, in the winter nights and face the shadows, brush yourself for birth, rich with starlight, let your heart expand your connection, now you understand this is all, all you're searching for and you are and there are guides by whom you are adored by your side. Now, what's around the more? This is all. All you're searching for, and you are wrong. All you've waited for, and there are guides by whom you are adored by your side. Now, and forever more. That was great. Thank you. So that's going to have the full band behind it. Full band, lots of surprises on that one. Super. That, great. Was, that, that was really great. Really enjoyed that a lot. Thank you. <laughs> 
So uh, we just have a couple of minutes left. Okay. Um, again, if anyone has questions, and Jenna, if there's any last minute things you'd like to touch upon, we've got Audrey saying thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Audrey, for the questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, look for look for my upcoming album. Um, there is a chance that as we really get the ball rolling, that I'll do uh, a Kickstarter. Um, which is a, uh, a fundraiser to um, it's and the, the crux of it will really be to um, to get uh, to get CDs made to get um, the promotional materials made to get all of the um, all of my band brothers paid my my studio recorder engineer paid um, I'm not looking for for pay or for money for myself just to um, just for the uh, the resources to to get the album out there to the world. Um, so do possibly look for a Kickstarter. I did a, um, for Wild Earth Child, I did a successful Kickstarter and I raised $8,000. So I'm hoping that um, now that these uh, crowdfunding platforms are more popular these days, cause that was back in 2010, um, that that happened. So I'm hoping that uh, to get the word out to um, to get more more people to know myself and my band and what we do and that we're, um, we're, we're looking to make not only mystical music but also meaningful healing music for the world. Um, and really people of, of any spirituality can um, can appreciate it. Um, but but I think it's a, it's really um, it's really music that I that I make for my my witches and my druids and my my sisterhood of Avalon and um, and uh, the pagan the pagan umbrella. Um, I think they uh, they will especially enjoy it. Um, but really, anybody who likes new age music and there is um, there's some Hindu influences in there and there's some Buddhist influences in there and um, there's going to be a lot of surprises on this album. So so I uh, I look forward to um, to meeting new people and having um, new patrons and uh, sharing um, sharing my Patreon, which is growing and growing. Um, where I you know I put out all these all these secret things that I keep talking about, all these mysterious things. They all the mystery the mysteries and the secrets they all go to the patrons first. You get to hear about it first. You get to see it first. And sometimes that stuff never gets released. So you get and you might get a piece of art that's never released to the public, and you might get a song or a demo or a video that's never released to the public. Um, so there definitely are some uh, treasures in there. And again, I do um, services uh, for my patrons as well. Um, so there are some special services that I offer to them. So do you have a newsletter? Um, I, I mostly, no, I need to. Um, actually, I have, I have a mailing list that I need to get going again. Oh. Um, you, you kicking my butt on some stuff tonight. That's good. Uh, I, need to, I need to get my, uh, my website rolling more than it is. And I need to get back to my mailing list. Um, because mostly when I put out announcements this day, these days, I put it out on Instagram, Facebook, and um, to my patrons. Um, but I really need to put it out to the whole world. Um, so people know what I'm doing. So mailing list is coming. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> well, I thank you so much for being with us Thank tonight. You. And it's, I, I should, it's been a pleasure. I do have a button on my website where you can sign up for the mailing list that I'm about to make active again. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and me asking you all these questions doesn't mean I'm really good with keeping all my stuff up to date. Oh, I know. I know. It's, you know, it's, you know, I, with the new CD coming out and, and all the things you have going on, it, it, it would be nice, you know, just... So everybody has a place to say, oh, I can do this, 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 and this. So and it's really hard. I wanna I wanna say this for I wanna speak for all of my artist friends and all of my musician friends right now. Um, saying what what you just said is um, you know, in this day of eight and age, if you are if you're a holistic healer, if you're a visual artist, if you're a musician, if you're putting out any sort of art or healing into the world not only do you have to do your art and follow your path, but you also have to do the marketing and the advertising and the social media and all of that is it's exhausting to wear that many hats. Um, and the reason that I'm mentioning this is even if you do not go on my Patreon, 
go on Patreon and find someone, anyone, any artist or anyone who's doing something that you really resonate with and support them. Some, some people take supporters at a dollar. My, um, my lowest tier is only $5. Um, so definitely that, that all of that adds up and you can really just um, change the life of an artist. I've been able to, um, with my Patreon money, I've been able to buy new equipment so that I can do better with my technology so I can do better with with my marketing. Um, it just, it changes our world to have that little bit of extra um, resources. We all need those resources right now. And none of us know what we're doing as far as this ever-changing social media marketing. And it's hard because we need to be our own advocates right. all the time. So. Right. And most of us too are shy about uh, promoting ourselves. So we need to promote each other and, you know, be a voice for each other. Okay. Well, Jenna, Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, our next Coracle Live is the beginning of July. I'm going to say it's the 8th because the 1st is is the weekend of the 4th. So I think we made it the 8th. It'll be July 8th, and I'll be discussing all sorts of wonderful things with Justine Journey. Nice. So, you know, come and join us for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. So, again, honey, thank you. Thank Talk you. to you soon, and I will I will get you in touch with my my uh, PR webmistress goddess. Thank you. Great. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Jenna. Bye bye.